This session is on race and games. It's part two. Please look at part one to know basics about the race and games. Please like, share, and subscribe this particular channel. Coming to next question. In a numerous race, A can give B 10 meters and C 28 meters. In the same race, B can give C. First, we understand the question. They are saying that in a 100 meters race. So, total distance is 100 meters. Right? And A can give 10 meters. Okay? A would be starting from 0 point. Okay? And A would be here and B would be here. Then A would be giving B 10 meters. Right? Again, saying C 28 meters. And A would be giving A would be giving C 28 meters. Right? Again saying, in the same race, B can give C. Okay? How much B can give it to C? They are asking. Right? First, we will be writing down A, B and C. Right? So, when A is moving 100 meters, then he gives B. How much is given as 10 meters? Right? So, how much distance is travelled by B now? It's nothing but 100 minus 10, 90 meters. Right? But here again they are saying A would be giving 28 meters to C. So A would be giving C again 28 meters. Right? So how much distance is travelled by C is nothing but 100 minus 28. It becomes 72. Right? Now they are asking if B is 100 meters, then how much can be given to C? They are asking. Right, just cross multiply it. We get it as 72 into 100 by 90. 0, 0 get cancelled. 1 goes by 8 sir, which is equal to 80 meters. So it is 80 meters. So B can give to see how much is nothing but 100 minus 80, which is nothing but equal to 20 meters. So, answer is option A. Then come to the next question. In a 100 meters race, A can beat B by 25 meters and B can beat C by 4 meters. In the same race, B can beat C by. Okay. First, I understand the question. It's saying that in a 100 meters race, the total distance is nothing but 100 meters. Right. Again, saying A can beat B by 25 meters. So, if you consider that A would be reaching the end point, then B would be back. By how much distance? 25 meters. Right, again saying B can beat C by 4 meters. Okay, if B reaches 100 meters, then C would be back by how much? 4 meters. Right, again they are saying in the same race A can beat C by. Okay, A can beat C by how much they are asking. Right, for this one simple thing that we know is that but first writing down what they are saying. Okay, they are saying A about A about B and about C, right? In 100 meters race, B would be, okay, okay, B would be back of an A by 25 meters, right? Then how much distance is travelled by an A B when A reaches 100? It's nothing but 100 minus 25, which is nothing but equal to 75 meters. So when A is 100, then B would be at 75 meters, right? Again, they are saying, when B is at the 100 meters, then C is back by 4 meters, right? So, if B is at 100 meters, then C is at 4 meters back. Then it becomes 100 minus 4, which is 96 meters, right? When B is at 100 meters, C would be at 96 meters. Now, so they are saying when A is at 100 meters, where the C would be there? We have to find it out, right? So, here in this one, only this one is there, where we can cross multiply and find the value of the C, right? So, just cross multiply it, we get it as 96 into 75 by 100. When you multiply this one, we get it as 7200 by 100. Means, 0000, zero, zero, zero get cancelled becomes 72 meters. So, C would be reaching 72 meters. So, we have to find it out. A can beat C by how many meters? It's nothing but 100 minus 72, which is equal to 28 meters. So, answer is option 
B. Now coming to next question. If flat is A B 3 by 15 meters and C by 29 meters. When B and C run over the course together, B wins by 15 meters. Find the length of an echo. First, we will understand the question. They are saying that in a flat race, A beats B by 15 meters and C by 29 meters, right? If we consider that there is a race and A would be reaching the end point, then B would be back by how much distance? 15 meters and C also will be back by 29 meters, right? Again, they are saying when B and C run together, right, then B wins by 15 meters, right? When B will reach an end point, then C would be back of an A, B, right? The distance between them is given as 15 meters. Now, they are asking find the length of an echo. We have to find the distance traveled by them. If we consider distance as an X, right, then first we will be writing it out. It is given about A, B and C, right? When A covers X distance, right, where B would be there, B would be at X minus 15 and C would be at X minus 29 meters, right? Again, when it is saying in the second case, when B is at X, then C would be at X minus 15, right? So, we have to find the value of an X now. Just cross multiply it, okay? Then it gets as X minus 15 whole square is equal to X into X minus 29. Then we get as X square minus 30X plus 225 is equal to X square minus 29X. Here X square and X square get cancelled, right? 30 minus 29, it becomes X is equal to nothing but 225 meters. So, length of the course is 225 meters. Option A. Coming to next question. In 100 meters race, A beats B by 10 meters and C by 13 meters. In the race of 180 meters, B will beat C by. First, you understand the question. It is saying that it is 100 meters race. It is a 100 meters race. So, total distance of an A race is 100 meters. Again, it is saying A beats B by 10 meters. Okay, when A reaches the end point, then B would be back by 10 meters. Right? And then C by 13 meters. Then C would be back by 13 meters back. Then they are saying in the race of 180 meters, if the distance of an A race is be changed to 180 meters, they would be saying B will beat C by. Okay? B would be reaching the end point, then C would be back. By how much distance we have to find it out. The general thing that we know is nothing but A, B, and C. Right? When A reaches 100 meters, then B would be back by 10 meters. Right? Back by 10 meters. Then B would be at 90 meters. Right? 100 minus 10. Then C would be at 13 minutes back. Right? 13 meters back, which is nothing but equal to 87 meters. Now they are asking when B is at 180 meters, where C would be there. Okay. We have to find it out. Just cross multiply it. Then we get as nothing but 87 into 180 by 90. Zero zero get cancelled. One's a two sa. Which is nothing but 2 into 87 becomes 4. 174 meters. So C would be reaching. 174 meters. So, what is the distance between them? It is nothing but 180 minus 174, which is equal to nothing but 6 meters. So, B will be beat C by 6 meters. So option D. Coming to the next question X, Y, Z are three contestants in one kilometer race. If X can give Y a start of 52 meters, X can also give Z a start of 83 meters. How many meters can Y can give to Z? First, to understand the question, it's saying that there are X, Y, Z, three contestants in one kilometer race. Okay, we consider three contestants X, Y, and Z. Right? They are moving one kilometer. Again, they are saying if X can give Y 
start of 52 meters so x would be starting from 0 point right and y would be starting from 52 meters again it's in x can also give z 83 meters so it can give to z of 83 meters now they are asking how many meters start y can give to z how many meters y can give to z we have to find out the general thing first would be writing about x y and z okay x double x y and z right x is moving one kilometer is nothing but thousand meters right and it is given to y how many it's given us 52 meters then thousand minus 52 is nothing but get 948 meters right again for z it is giving how much 83 meters which is equal to 917 meters now they are asking how much y can give to z if y is moving 1000 meters then how much is given to z okay just cross multiply it we get it as 917 into 1000 by 948 it goes in any as 967.30 just calculate it okay then we got it as 967.30 so we can say that y can give z by how much 1000 minus 967.30 we get it as 7.23 32.7 meters. So answer is option D. Come in the next question. In the radius of 600 meters, A can beat B by 60 meters and in the radius of 500 meters, B can beat C by 50 meters. By how many meters will A beat C in the radius of 400 meters? First, we understand the question. By saying that in the radius of 600 meters, okay, there is a radius of 600 meters. Again, they are saying A can beat B by 60 meters, okay. If A reaches the end point then b would be back by how much 60 meters again they are saying in the race of 500 meters there is another race of 500 meters right b can beat c by 50 meters okay b would be reaching the end point but c would be back by how much 50 meters again they are saying by how many meters will a beat c in the race of 400 meters this other race of 400 meters and A would be reaching the end point and C would be back by how many meters we have to find it out. First we will be writing down everything. It is talking about A, B and C. Okay. A is reaching 600 meters and B would be back by how much? 60 meters which is equal to 540 meters. Right. Again they are saying in 500 meters C would be back by B. 50 meters. Right. So, in the case of an A, 500 meters, B would be 10 C by 50 meters, right? So, it becomes an F minus 50. It becomes 450 meters. Now, they are asking for 400 meters of A, right? Where C would be there, right? So, first what you do is nothing but find the value of an A, C at 600 meters, okay? So, just cross multiply it. From here we get it as 450 into 540 by 500. 0, 0, 0, 0, all zeros get cancelled. One side goes by 9. Sir. Right, we we'll get it as 6, 486 meters. Right. Again, we have to find it for, here we got as 486 meters. Now again we have to find it for C for 400 meters. For 600 it's 486. For 400 how much? Okay, just cross multiply these ones. Okay. Then we get it as nothing but 400 into 486 by 600. 0, 0, 0, 0 get cancelled. It becomes 2. It becomes 3. 1 side goes in a 160. Which is equal to nothing but it becomes 432. So it reaches 324 meters. So when A is at 400 meters, C will be at 324 meters. So A beats C by how much? 400 
minus 3 24 which is equal to nothing but 76 meters so answer is option a